Welcome to Big Monday. I'm Paul. Today I want to address a question that I get occasionally. Um, people ask duty cycle. Different machines have different duty cycles. How important is it? How, what, what do you have to take into consideration when you're considering buying a machine? How much duty cycle do you actually need? So uh, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Here I have a couple of machines. Uh, they're two different machines. We have the Millimatic 211 and we have the Everlast 140E. Uh, two pretty good machines. Uh, obviously, the, the numbers at the end of their name, like the 211 or the 140, are usually an indication of what the amperage is of the machine. So if you have a machine with a higher amperage uh, versus a machine with lower amperage, typically you can weld on thicker material uh, with the higher amperage machine. Uh, so that's one of the first things you want to take into consideration when you're buying a machine is what kind of use are you going to put it to. But then it comes down to duty cycle. Both can be 60% duty cycles. Uh, there's a point in each one of these where they're 100% duty cycle. Let's just kind of talk about what that means. Uh, first, let's, and before we do that, let's look and see where we even find this information. Typically, uh, although it's not always the case, most of the time you'll find that information on the back side of the machine. Right on this little label right here. And the same applies to the Everlast machine. But these are the labels that contain the electrical information, the circuit requirements, things of that nature on both of these machines. But there's also the part we're going to focus on is the duty cycle. And if you notice, right on this label, it's going to give you some information as to duty cycle. 25% uh, duty cycle, 60% duty cycle, and 100% duty cycle. The thing that changes with those duty cycles is the amount of amperage that you can operate with. At a 100 amp, or excuse me, at a 100% duty cycle, you're going to be operating at a lower amperage. And before I even get into that, I probably should cover uh, <clears throat> what duty cycle even means. If it's a 60% duty cycle, that means you can operate th this particular machine, either one of these, at a designated amperage for a six minute period out of a 10 minute time. So if you're, the, the duty cycle on this one, for example, 60% duty cycle, uh, at 90 amps. So that means you could weld for six minutes at 90 amps and, and not have to worry about a machine shutting down. If you exceed the duty cycle, typically the machine overheats a little bit and shuts down. So <clears throat> if you're welding at less than 90 amps, the duty cycle goes up because you're not heating the insides up as much. So uh, typically the duty cycle rises or falls with how much amperage you're using. And it applies to both of these machines equally, or any other machine for that matter. One of the things that can also affect duty cycle, when you get the machine and it's brand new, these are accurate ratings. As the machine sits around for a while, it, the machine doesn't get old or the duty cycle doesn't go down because of age. What could cause the duty cycle to diminish a little bit over time is the environment that you store it in. If you got it stored in a dusty, dirty shop, the interior, you know, dust is gonna find its way into the interior of the machine and start coating the parts, uh, you know, just, just like dust does in your house. It gets on the end tables and, and all that. Uh, that dust inhibits the cooling of the machine and then it starts to overheat a little faster. So the duty cycle essentially goes down at that point. So keeping the machine in a clean environment, and sometimes it wouldn't even hurt them, you know, if it, if it does start to get dirty inside, to take a cover off, make sure the power is off, so you don't want to do anything, any damage, don't touch anything inside there with your hands, but you can take an air hose and blow it out, uh, clean, clean the dust out of the machine over, of course, this is going to take a good period of time for the need for that to arise. All right, so duty cycle, the ability to run for a 10 minute period at a rated amperage, and all that information is listed on the, typically on the backs of the machines uh, when you look at them. All right, so that should do it for today. See you next time.